Blessed is our God, always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now, never, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visiting you, our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now, never, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth and faith to the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the throat of a mess for herself, for she may lay her young. Even thy altars, O Lord of hosts, my King, my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and to ages of ages shall they praise thee. And blessed is the man whose help is from thee, hath made his sins in his heart, and hath failed of weeping, in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the Lord who will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength. And the God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, and give O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, be cold, and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give praise and glory. The Lord will not withhold the things from them that walk in their sins. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. If thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land, thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. If thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people, thou hast covered all their sins. If thou hast made all thy wrath to cease, thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. O thou be walk with us unto the ages, O wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation. O God, thou wilt turn in quickness, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation that thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh unto them that fear is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung up out of the earth, and righteousness have looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall be overflowed. Righteousness shall go before him, and set his footsteps in the way. Bow down the ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle, and quintess in mercy unto all them that call upon me. Give you, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of my affliction, have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. 
all the nations that thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, the assembly of the mighty have sought after my soul, and they have not set me before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. Look upon me, have mercy upon me, give thy strength unto thy servants, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work to me a sign unto God, and let them that hate me before thee go to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Work to me a sign unto God, and let them that hate me before thee go to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. You are mercy, you are mercy, you are mercy. O ye faithful, let us praise us as we the all blessed for us and the most honored for us. The all comely device, the wise and most radiant hair, who earnestly and manifestly proclaim the uncreated Trinity to all. Wherefore, having suffered even to the shedding of your blood and been crowned with the most <coughs> splendid crowns, we greet Christ God that he save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, in giving birth that it's preserved thy virginity, and in thy glory mission, thou didst not forsake the world of Theotokos, thou hast translated unto thy best, thou art the mother of life, and by thy supplications dost thou deliver our souls from death. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion of the one, and didst despoil death by death, and as God did reveal the resurrection, this day not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the Theotokos who gave thee birth, and interceded for us, and be thou our Savior, save the despairing people. Deliver us not utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither this in all about thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy, Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, who are our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> now and ever unto the age of the Amen. The two immortality could not hold the Theotokos, who is untiring in our supplications and our certain hold in her intercessions. Whereas the mother of life, she had passed over to the life, who dwelt within her ever virgin womb. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou for all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth, thou worship and glorify the Christ God. Who art long suffering, point us in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of the things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life with thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, may chase our bodies, correct 
our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, thy guardian and guide by their way, who maintain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, he has birth without the word, the very day of the voice, that we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen, O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, where another taint upon the life giving tree. And it's make a way into paradise with the wise thief, and by death let's destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants, and we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness. Spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. For our days will consume in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind, that putting aside the old man <coughs> may be glad within you, and look for thee our master and benefactor, and that thus by following in thy commandments we may attain to rest everlasting, where is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we send that glory, with thine unrighteousness. Father, and most holy and good and life free in spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty as thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain, who support his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth and the sureness thereof, which will not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garden is his mantle, upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down into the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest about that they shall not pass, neither return to come the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them all the birds of the heavenly lodge, in the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fear of thy words, who causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and the green earth for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine make it glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful and oral, and bread strengthen in man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. Yet made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his pouring down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night when all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But men shall go forth unto his glory, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy words, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. There are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures of the grave. There go the ships, there this dragon that thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their fruit in due season. When thou givest it, then they will gather it. When thou openest thy hands, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. If thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. If thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my 
words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. For that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his glory <coughs> down, thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, let us say to the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch, for real, for our Lord, the very most reverend, much fault, and Nicholas, for our the Russian Church of Rod, for the venerable priesthood, mm. the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commandites, earth, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For a seasonable weather, but into the fruits of the earth in peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. Now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth tone, Lord, I have cried unto thee, hearken unto me. the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, I can unto thee, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice, I can unto For my mouth and a door of enclosure round about my lips. Incline not my heart into words of evil to make excuses, excuses, and sins. With men that work iniquity, and I will not join with their chosen. The righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. For yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures. 
Glory be the Lord of the Judges then. Read for you my words that they be sweetened. As the cloud of earth is broken upon the earth, so that the bones been scattered, I am to me. Run to me, O Lord, O Lord, are mine eyes, and be of us, take not my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinner shall fall into their own nets. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried, with my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour out before him my supplication, my affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my path. In this way wherein I have walked, they hid from me a snare. I looked upon my right hand and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Light have failed me, and there is none that walked the top from my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my fortune art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me, until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths of I cry unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness, thy holy, all pure, and honored repose. Was not a separation from those who love thee, but is an unbreakable union, O Virgin. For thou didst ever reveal thyself to those who glorify thee as the true Mother of God. Bestowing thy grace and showing that thou hast been given as an intercessor for all men. For thy name's sake, I patiently waited for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord, becoming the ark of sanctification. Of him who made his abode within thee, O pure Theotokos, thou art translated by him from the earth unto rest which groweth not old, illumined with his splendor. Wherefore from on high thou lookest down upon those who hear me with love and proclaim the divine and mighty working of miracles. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel open the Lord, accepting thee, O pure one, as a bridal chamber of great splendor, as an ark of sanctification, for it is above thy Son and Lord showed thee forth to the incorporeal armies and the dwelling places of the saints, as the ineffable glory which delivereth from corruption and misfortunes, those who have loved in thy mighty works, O pure one. In the first tone, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities, revealed as a model of manliness before the assembly. Thou didst there to give thyself over to the arena of suffering, going forth there to like a general. O martyr Andrew, who art most rich, and thou dost ever pour forth the water of healings upon the faithful, receiving grace from the heavens. O oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. Manifest as the namesake of manliness, contending manfully thou dost engage the enemy and destroy him. As though he were another Pharaoh, engulfing his whole army in the streams of thy blood, O right wondrous one. Wherefore pray thou that God 
God grant unto our souls peace and great mercy. For he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. O glorious one, thou didst bring to God the bestower of good things, a great army which struggled, and with thee hath found them dying glory through death, O all glorious one. With them do thou pray that he grant unto our souls peace and great mercy. Glory both now and the fourth time. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When thou didst depart unto him, who had been ineffably born of thee, O virgin Theotokos, James the brother of God and first bishop was present, with Peter the most honorable and preeminent, the foremost of theologians, and the whole divine choir of the apostles, him in the divine and awesome mystery of God's dispensation, with manifest theology, and bearing thy life giving and God receiving body, they rejoiced almost in one, and regarding one another they said, marveling at the wonders. Of her who transcendeth the only signorings of the angels, lift up your gates and receive her, who gave birth to the Creator of heaven and earth, and with glorifications let us on the luscious and holy body, which contain the Lord who is invisible to us, wherefore celebrating thy memory. We also cry out to thee, O all divine, exalt the horn of Christians and save our souls. For the joyous light of the holy glory, the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father of Jesus Christ, having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening light, we praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God, Need it is for thee at all times to be hidden with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life, wherefore the world hath glorified thee. Blessed then, peace be unto all, wisdom, liberty, and honor in the sixth throne, my help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and the earth. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and the earth. I from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who hath made heaven and the earth. My help cometh from the Lord who hath made heaven and the earth. God sake, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages of men. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endure forever, the stain of the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. And this, o Lord. That angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant 
this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian adding to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. For good God art thou, the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Israel, 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. <clears throat> and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom of the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and now and ever unto the ages of Asia. Amen. Amen. Leaving the glory of earthly reign behind, thou didst inherit the kingdom of heaven. And thou didst adore crowns of incorruption, as with the wondrous stones, and didst lead to Christ an assembly of athletes. With the choirs of the angels thou didst find Christ the never setting sun, in light unwaning, holy general Andrew, with those who suffered with thee. Ever entreat him that he save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He in giving birth, thou didst preserve thy virginity. In thy ordination, thou didst not forsake the world of Theotokos. Thou wast translated unto life, since thou art the mother of life. And by thy supplications, dost thou deliver our souls from death. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch, for real, for our Lord, the very most reverend, much fault, and Nicholas, for his heart, for the Russian Church abroad, and all our brother named Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commemorate Seraphim, and all his brother named Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this land, its authority is at our forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us, and the Orthodox here and ever were they to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who work strife, we pray thee, O kind hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that he will bless the building of our new church to the glory of his name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion. By the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. 